What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at stuff from Countycom slash Meritac. This is the Rev 5 or Iteration 5. This is the Rev 6. First thing you notice is that they have different kinds of texture. This one, um, they both fit well in the hand, but this one has more of these channels on them. From the Rev 4 to the Rev 5, they got rid of, there was an O-ring. I really don't like O-rings on things that screw down because it means if you use them a lot, you're going to wear that O-ring out pretty quickly. This has these golf-like dimples. I, I like how it feels, honestly. I think that it feels a little bit, I don't know if it's better, but definitely different. And you can see the texture terminates a little bit higher uh, on this section of it. And if we were to, and we will unscrew this, you see that it takes 4889 medium mega line Schmitz. These are replacements for the Fisher space pin inserts or refills. They're a dollar cheaper. <clears throat> Even cheaper than that if you buy them in any quantity that's large. And uh, the Fisher Space Pen, which you can buy um, in different colors. There's a lot of different colors, actually. If that's your thing, you can go do that. Um, what I would recommend, though, is that you, of course, grab the wrong thing off of my gear thing. This is what I would recommend is that you hit up, um, it is Lanier Handcraft Pens is where I would buy these from. And if you use uh, new pens as a code, you get 15% off. So there you go. Speaking of that, Countycom gives out these 10% cards like they're nothing. Feel free to use either one of those. Try both of them. Um, I Two of these refills are from County Com. They sell them at cost. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them are from uh, these other guys, that are from the distributor I just showed. I bought them through eBay. I use eBay a lot because you build up a strange kind of equity on eBay. Uh, it translates into people kind of being able to trust your presence there a little bit more. They were 33.18 total. That's after shipping. It was to initially 27 and a quarter for six of them. So about, um, what is 30 divided by 6. 30 divided by 6 is $5 a piece. Yep, $5 a piece. Did the math in my head. I actually use my fingers too. But And every time you buy something on eBay, you get a, another number by your name. I'm one of the top listed sellers. And I have by my name 1656 for total interactions. You get one every time you sell, one every time you buy. And so that way you're building and building and building this equity and uh, it translates into people trusting your store more. All right, more things about this guy. Um, new extreme grip dimple groove pattern. Now with titanium pocket clip, upgraded German Schmidt fill. So this is a titanium pocket grip, clip, clip, meaning this entire thing is non-ferrous. Um, not going to set off my old detectors, except for the, I think these are ferrous. Um, as you, This is kind of a lot of them, but the shelf life on these guys is pretty much infinite. They uh, are, they're just really, they're really well done pieces of equipment. They write upside down, underwater, all the things, you know, um, this is, I think, is a stainless steel clip. And I have an, an extra clip that I think is also stainless steel. I'll have to. Um, I'm okay with that, though. Uh, I'm not 
really tripping about whether these are ferrous or not, set off metal detectors. They are cubitons. That is kind of the thing. Um, you can use these pretty easily to, I mean, if you were to punch or punch, if you use this as a punch and hit someone in the head as hard as you could, I really do think this would go into their skull. Uh, if you get a can of pop, uh, pop, Guinness, whatever, very easily you can drive that into it. It'll go everywhere, obviously, because it's under pressure. Um, this one is not under pressure, okay? Not under pressure. And, I mean, that's... That's a that's a six inch movement, right? Like that is not a lot of of force in all reality, and uh, because it ha it comes down to on this point, it's very focused, right? Um, and you wouldn't ha you don't have to do it like this. You could do it like this, so then you have the ability. There's a lot of different strikes you can do. Go take a martial arts class. I'm just at the point of telling people go take a martial arts. Class. Don't. Don't go to active self-protection and listen to some guy that weighs 350 pounds tell you how he, how somehow he has this expertise, um, even though he's a private security guard who is fat as fuck. And I would guarantee you has never been in a firefight in his goddamn life, unless it's been in, like he, he shot at a hood rat one time. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, don't take fat people seriously when it comes to martial arts. You wouldn't take them seriously when it came to basketball, football, soccer, swimming, because you would know by looking at them, they're fat. They don't know what the fuck is going on. I shouldn't be learning from a person who doesn't know what's going on. I should learn from a person who's an expert. Go to a, take a martial arts class, be it uh, karate, jujitsu, taekwondo, any of the martial arts. Um, but know that you're going to have to take it from the sporterized version to the real world and you might have to go uh, do some, um, 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 not jujitsu, uh, jeet kune do, uh, whatever Bruce Lee was doing, where you actually are taking a bunch of systems. The march or the military really brought home to me um, through their system of fighting that um, a lot of the killing moves are just never going to be taught in a martial arts capacity. One, they don't want you to kill anybody. And then two, they don't want anyone in class to be killed because then they're liable. So for the career ending moves, as they're called in the business of ending lives, um, you're going to have to go seek that stuff out. However, I mean, you could also get a book, watch some stuff on YouTube, learn some basic strikes, go to the gym. Uh, you know, if they have a heavy bag, pretend to, you know, have this in your hand. I wouldn't strike a bag with this because you're going to put a hole in the bag and piss everyone off. And, and maybe get convicted from the gym. Um, so that is the uh, Cubiton uh, slash Uaristic esque aspect of these things. And they come in very handy in, in uh, non-permissive environments where you don't get to have whatever you want on you, like a airport. The airport's going to let this walk right through security. They're never going to stop you. Um, because they're used to business people bringing pens with them. These are high quality instruments of writing. They're very, very solid. And I wouldn't, I, I mean, I had them through any airports at this point. Um, you can also bring them into the, or theaters, uh, shows, concerts, where non-permissive environments, they're going to wave you down with a baton, wand you down. Uh, maybe do a hands-on search, they will let this in. Oh, it's my pen. You know what I mean? Um, with this, since it's basically all titanium except for these, this might not even set off. If they have you walk through one of those detectors, might even set it off. So these are tools for non-permissive environments. Um, they take the Fisher Space refill. The, the generic one is the Schmidt. Uh, that's what I would go with. You, They have black and blue. Um, for five dollars a pop more or less and if you want to get green um, turquoise red whatever you can go to the fisher space pen site they have those for you for a little bit more money you could they're like seven dollars a pop you could get a couple if you wanted to have goofy colors or, or pretty colors you know i collect um 
fountain pen ink at some point i'll put them all on the channel probably over the course of several videos but not one for every ink this isn't necessarily an ink channel but uh writing is part of everyday life and pens have become part of people's everyday carry edc right uh and working them into systems in a larger capacity being able to take these guys in to non-permissive environments through security checkpoints um, this is a tool, right? You can write with it and you could also uh, fairly easily end somebody's life with it. And the reason I got this one, first of all, uh, redundancy cures failures, cures the absence of gear. That's the way you overcome that kind of stuff with redundancy. So if I um, in my gear, this is a specific example to me, but like so, two is one, one is none. It's a Yiddish saying, but it's one that the Marine Corps adopted when people are making their loadouts. How many of these do I need? If it's really, really important, you might want to have two compasses. For instance, you might want to have two canteens because if we're out in an operation operating and, um, something goes wrong and all of a sudden we're stuck out there for weeks at a time. You you might, you know, gear is going to get broken in, in these operations. So, but for me, the reason I got it, well, one, these dimples are cool. They give you more of a grip. And I like the feel of them. And they look really, really neat. Two, um, I keep one of these in my tack pants that I wear, whatever, I'm, you know, whatever tack pants I'm wearing. And switching this out from pants to gym bag back to pants uh back to you know now it's in my backpack or my gear or my um you know uh messenger bag from um uh, that nuts you yeah, have a nut sack bag I, I need to get on the channel that's really nice um that i was it was getting mixed it was getting lost in the sauce is what was happening so I went ahead and got another one. So now when I go to the gym, I can keep this one in my uh, tactical pants and I can take this one to the gym, keep it on my desk. Um, these also, I use fountain pens if I'm not using these. I don't use ballpoint pens ever. Not because they're not useful. I just am trying, you know, that's just what I like to use. But also I, I am a, a writer, so... I would generate a good deal of waste if I use disposable ballpoint pens. These cartridges are a lot less wasteful. They're also recyclable. And I get that some people are, would think to themselves, well, for $6 for a refillable, I could get, you know, 50 ballpoint pens. Okay, sure, yeah, that's true. Maybe that's right for you. But here's the deal. Those don't write upside down. The writing experience is pretty bland. And although in a pinch, yeah, I would use one. Or if I was setting out uh, writing utensils in a lobby or supplying them to a classroom setting, would I, you know, use these? No, I would use the ballpoint pens. They're not all the same. Thinking that and acting like they're all the same, that is ignorant. That is willful ignorance. Um, so that's why I use them. And I've been using the one in this one. I traded it out from this one. I've been using it since I got it, and it's been an, over a year now, and recently I've been using it more and more, trying to run it out because I want to refill it, and it's not running out. So the amount of writing you're going to be able to do is not insignificant. It's a lot, and uh, the experience is good. I've had a good experience with them. They do have their idiosyncrasies. Uh, just so you're not surprised when you get it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. For instance, when it first touches down, sometimes there's been a little buildup on the tip, and you can do that. So what I will do oftentimes is, if I'm going to write, I'll come over here, kind of roll it off, and then go. You probably won't even notice it. To be honest, I'm being kind of dramatic and showing you that would normally have just dried. Um, is it waterproof? Probably not. I wouldn't think it's waterproof. That's why I use fountain pen inks that are waterproof. But uh, I'm a writer. I'm more into this stuff. If you're not a writer, 
then you're probably never, not never, but it'll be years before you run through the, um, before you run through the cartridge. These are made in their private machine lab. I'm assuming in America, but that might not be the case. However, Countycom slash Meritac is a great American company. I have no problem supporting them. They have TI-64... 1-4V titanium bodies. They measure in at uh, five and a quarter inches by half an inch diameter. Doesn't require an O-ring. That was one of the upgrades. Internal threaded housing for added durability between the pin tip and back body. Uh, beveled threading. It's going to be smooth. Way more than twice as much as the original embassy pin at 2.18 ounces. Half the weight of a roll of dimes. Uh, this the the this stain stainless steel clip is stone washed, but the, the this the new one has a has a titanium clip. I just read somewhere. Let me look. Oh the. The Schmidt refills right from negative 30 Fahrenheit to positive 250 Fahrenheit. Maybe the, maybe this isn't, I'm not seeing it now. Maybe this isn't titanium. Listen, I'm going to link it in the comment or the description. Go look at them. Um, they do say on here, comparable pins are sold at triple the price. That's true. This right now is on sale for $74.95, originally $150. I would, that's why I've, I picked it up right when they came out because, um, they're worth it. And I would recommend them highly to people who are tactically minded, who sometimes are involved in environments that are non-permissive. Even if that's not really what you're doing, that's what I would do. Oh, and, and they are also now launching a spare screw set option um, and also titanium clip upgrade. All pens come standard with 300 series stainless steel clip. Upgrade now to titanium. So I do have a titanium clip waiting in the wings. It's a replacement. I might make this thing entirely. No, this is titanium. It says it on there, TI. I could make this totally titanium. It's, I just don't know if it's actually worth it. And I'm going to, I have it already. I'll have to check and see if this is ferrous with a, a magnet. Anyway. This has been a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. I just think this is an overlooked piece of kit. So I figured I'd get it on the channel and talk about it. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Social Rope. Bye.